use some interesting background for your watercolour painting, try doing the painting first and the drawing second. Use plenty of water and drop some colours in and then allow it to dry completely. Then you can draw on top of that and paint more layers on top of that. So here you'll see that I'm negatively painting around the flower afterwards so that the flower pops forwards and is lighter than the background. I'm only using two or three colours, some very pale pinks and pale greens. Rather than using a pen this time, I used a precision pencil, which you can get some nice fine lines with. So allow each layer to dry in between and then you can continue your drawing on top and you can continue your painting on top. The colours that I used were the Viviva Spring Selection. I did heavily edit and cut this film as it took quite a while so I perhaps will make the film that I've got into a much longer video for you at some point.